March 2016, Istanbul, Turkey. Charles and his family are on a tourist visa. Yet, it was difficult for them to travel around because the nearest taxi stand was three kilometers away from the hotel. So, they were sad. They hear about the ride-sharing app called Uber from the hotel receptionist. They installed it immediately and were stunned by the easiness of finding a driver. Finding nearby drivers with accuracy and scalability is a hard problem. Here's how Uber solves it. It's difficult to find nearby drivers only based on latitude and longitude. So, they index locations to find nearby drivers efficiently. They use the H3 library for location indexing. H3 is a hexagonal-shaped, hierarchical geospatial indexing system created at Uber. H3 divides Earth's surface into cells on a flat grid, giving each cell a unique identifier with a 64-bit integer. An H3 index is a reference to a specific cell on the grid. They find nearby drivers by identifying the relevant cells covering the rider's area, and then listing the drivers in those cells sorted by the estimated time of arrival, ETA. H3 offers the benefits of a hierarchical indexing system and a hexagonal grid system. Here's how H3 works. They need the index of the smallest possible area to find the nearby drivers accurately. Put another way, a high data resolution is necessary. A small cell provides high data resolution, yet storage costs increase if there are many smaller sized cells while bigger sized cells hide details and data. So they created a hierarchical grid and defined these smaller hexagonal cells as subdivisions of bigger hexagonal cells. A hierarchical grid allows data compression because the areas with lower details are represented with fewer cells, while areas with higher details are represented by many cells. Also, changing data resolution became easier with a hierarchical grid because the identifier of child cells could be truncated to find ancestor cells. They created a global grid on H3 with 122 base cells. Yet, 12 out of 122 base cells are pentagons because it's not possible to tilt a sphere, Earth, only with hexagons. H3 treats the pentagon as a hexagon without a part. Besides, hexagons don't subdivide perfectly. So, they subdivide a hexagon into seven hexagons with a known amount of error, and the child hexagons get rotated to fit the shape of the parent hexagon. The H3 library supports 16 data resolution types and can index an area as small as one square meter. They use the cell identifier as the sharding key to partition the H3. They need distance between cells to find nearby drivers. It's impossible to create a grid with triangle, square, or hexagon-shaped cells. But H3 uses a hexagon as the cell shape to make it easier to measure the distance between two cells. Because each neighboring cell is the same distance away from a cell's center, it simplifies distance measurement. While triangles have three distanced neighbors and squares have two distance neighbors because some neighbors share an edge and others share a vertex. So, distance measurement between cells needs extra coefficients in triangles and squares. H3 supports the indexing function to find a cell in the grid efficiently. It accepts latitude, longitude, and resolution to return the cell identifier. H3 finds the neighboring cells around a specific cell using the k-ring function because H3 does constant time bitwise operations to truncate the cell index. It makes switching between data resolutions easy. Each driver app sends its location to the server every few seconds, but the GPS signals can get noisy and sparse due to a poor network. The exact location is necessary to find nearby drivers, so they do map matching. Map matching transforms raw GPS signals into actual road segments. They use Apache Cassandra to store raw locations for long-term durability. Apache Cassandra is a distributed database. Yet, Cassandra is optimized for write operations. 
so they add a Redis cache layer on top of it to shed the read operations. Redis stores the recent locations of each driver. It also buffers enough data points to do map matching. The map matched data then gets stored in a separate schema on Cassandra. They use RingPop to partition the services for scalability. RingPop is Uber's consistent hash ring module that uses Gossip protocol. It gets embedded in application services. They use Gossip protocol to track the server membership list and server health status. A consistent hash ring lookup forwards a request to the responsible server. They scale writes by adding more servers, while reads are scaled by adding replicas. They use Thrift over Remote Procedure Calls, RPC, for efficient communication. Besides, every service is kept idempotent for high availability through retries. They run a backup data center and route the traffic to it if the active data center fails. It's necessary to find nearby drivers accurately for the best rider experience. The current approach allowed them to scale to 1 million requests per second.